RPE. So this stands for the rate of perceived exertion, which is another brilliant way to measure the intensity of an exercise session. Now the original scale was invented by a chap called Dr. Gunnar Borg, so they called it the Borg scale. And it was a scale of six to 20, and what you'd do is you exercise, and then they'd hold up a chart to you with a scale going from six to 20, and then have a little description next to each number as to how you should feel, you know, somewhat hard, um, feeling breathless, that type of thing. And you would give a number on that scale um, depending on how you felt. Now, the, what Dr. Gunnar Borg found at the time was that the number correlated with heart rate. So much so that if you, let's say you gave a number 10 on the scale, if you added a zero on the end, that's 100, and that would probably be about what your heart rate was. So that's how good it was, and you know, th this, this was research was carried out, and there was definitely a strong correlation between the number and the person's heart rate. However, there were some slight issues with it, because you really do need the chart with the descriptions next to the numbers for it to work, because generally we don't really rate things on a scale of 6 to 20. Um, what we tend to use is scales of 1 to 10. Um, so that's where we have the modified RPE scale, and that's what's most commonly used now, really. Um, it's something that you can use without the chart. Although the chart's still good, you can just ask the question. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being maximal intensity, 1 being you're completely rested, what number are you at at the moment? Um, and, that, and that's what we tend to use. Now, the good thing about that scale is, again, it's very easy to use. It doesn't cost you any money. You can use it any time. We were teaching groups, individuals. Uh, the downside is, uh, you know, it's, it's down to the person's perception. So if they might be perceiving that they're actually working really, really hard, but in your opinion, mm, that's not really that hard. Um, so, it, you know, you might have a slightly different perception to them. They could just lie to you. They could uh, have learned through um, experience that if they give you a low number, you're going to crank the speed up on the treadmill. You know, you're going to make them row a bit harder if they give a low number. So you say to them, oh, scale of 1 to 10, how are you feeling? Like, oh, that's an 8 or a 9, John, I think. Uh, and you're like, really? Um, so that's, you know, that's a downside to that as well. But it's more precise than our talk test, isn't it? So we haven't got three scales anymore, you know, low, moderate, vigorous. We got 10 scales. We can go from one all the way to 10. Thank you.